Then God struck the men of Beth Shemesh because they looked into the ark of the Lord. He struck 50,070 men of the people. And the people lamented because the Lord had struck the people with a great slaughter. Let me just introduce you to a truth that we'll present to you. We will never see a mighty revival until we understand the ways of God. You need to understand that when someone sins against God, it is serious with God. And he may take the life of 57,000 people simply because they looked into the ark. The evangelical community does not believe that we serve the God that we see revealed in the scriptures. We feel we can live any way we want and God will just forgive us regardless of what we've done. It's not the God I see in the Bible. Matter of fact, we're going to see in a moment when God confronted Eli with the way he was treating his sons. He was honoring his sons more than he was God and suddenly in his old age Eli realized that his sons were wicked and so he came to them and he began to try and instruct them and he said a man may sin against another man and God can judge him but if a man sin against God there is no one who can intercede for him and when he finished giving that instruction the scripture says it says they paid no attention to Eli because God had determined to kill his sons. In other words, they couldn't have repented if they'd wanted to. They'd passed the line. And they could not repent like Esau. He sought repentance with tears, but he couldn't find it. We need to understand the ways of God. And I hear people say, well, that's Old Testament. And I say, no, that's not Old Testament. That's holy God. And what happened in Korea was they met the holiness of God. And they couldn't stand. They had to, they were on their face. They were on the tables. They were crying. They were shouting. They couldn't get away from him. I think it was Edwin Orr who wrote a little, or gave a message entitled, Revival is like Judgment Day. That's true. When you cry out to God for revival, you need to be ready for the absolute judgment of God on your sin. But we don't believe that God will judge our sin because we have, and I've heard it and I want to stand up and say something whenever I hear it. It doesn't matter what you've done, God will forgive you anyway. You are adulterating the word of God and causing the people of God to sin and feel that they can do anything they want and with just a word to God, he'll forgive them without any repentance whatsoever and without even a slightest understanding of what God means by repenting. We set our own standard for repentance, do it, and say God forgave me because I asked him to. Where in the world did you ever get that? <laughs> 